Yo, GameBro here, and this is Let's Play Beetle Adventure Racing. Let us finish up this championship. Yep, not gonna be long. Again with the volume thing, I really gotta stop that. Whatever, let's call myself G Pro. Now it's G Pro 522 instead of G Pro Triple Fives. More interesting combination of letters, I must say. And we have at least three new vehicles. Yep. And they. I'll come close to reaching the limits in stats, top speed, acceleration, and handling. So, what should I use? Um, I'm still generally gonna go for more. Um, well-rounded. Um, although, um, it looks too feminine for my liking. Um. This is a really cool one, the lightning and such. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go for the max speed. Um, what color should I choose? It's like a Pikachu. Um, uh. Uh, forgive me. Um. And whatever. Not the best color, but. Okay, um. Screw manual. Rumble packs. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get this over with. Hopefully, get a new record time. No excuse with having, um. have been a much better car than last time but of course that means being expert mode um the cars ahead of me are also much better in stats can't say much it's not by a lot but anywho um we're gonna go through six courses and that still beat for the championship maybe I'll show off um I'm getting the bonuses, but no promises. Just saying here now. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see how well I fare. So far I'm in eighth, that's not a very good sign. I mean, it's just such a pain. Um, I don't usually forget um, in racing games, but for some reason this one, probably because I haven't spent much time on manual, but yeah. Just always keep forgetting to have to switch gears. That's really all there is to it. And there's probably a shortcut or two that I keep forgetting to show off. Some on the Pikmin 3 launch day, I actually went out and got Pikmin 3. Um, before that, it was a really long time since I last bought or rented a game at launch. Um, I think the last one I actually bought at launch um, was um, Shadow of the Hedgehog. Got it for the GameCube. Yeah. That was like over seven and a half years ago. Man, I feel a little old. My thoughts on Pikmin 3. Oh, too close to the mic again. Um, I really liked it. It's probably the best of the trilogy. Has the best stuff from um, 1 and 2. With Watch World, some um, Free Captain, some. It's a really nice looking game. I don't have much complaints about it at all. Um, like the gamepad, um, I would have expected for a long time you tap in the screen in order to throw your Pikmin, um, no, you still press buttons to do that, um, but it working as a radar works great as well, um, yes, um, those are like Pikmin 1, 2, 
will surely love the third one. The first one I thought was a good game. Um, just not really amazing. The second one does almost everything right except um, the game focuses so much on the underground missions that prevent me from truly loving the game. So much to like about the second, but and I do, and I felt like they were warm welcome um, for like the first half or the second half. The underground missions just go on and on and on. They, there's too many of them, or they just last too long. But besides that, it was an excellent game. Pikmin 3 um, seemed to have taken out the underground missions. At least, like, no longer prevent you from, um, like, bringing out more of your Pikmin. And again, Pikmin 3 does bring out the best in of both games. Turns into something nearly perfect. One complaint I have about this game, it, that game, is that it seems to be a bit easy on, um, like what fruit you'd be able to collect, um, that is, um, required in order to keep going on with the days. Like, they seem to be kind of easy to get, um, especially since it's my, since I'm blindly playing through that game. Yes, um, like the other two games, pick it up. Now. Because I'm a hypocrite because I haven't actually bought it yet. But that will definitely be the next Wii U game I'll pick up. And I'm proud to admit that I at least did play it at launch. I can say. Man, I keep forgetting about that shortcut, but eh, there we go. But was it worth it? I feel foolish because now I am behind a bit. But what is this? Review for Pikmin 3 or Let's Play Wheel Adventure Racing? I just can't stress how damn good that game is, I guess. Let's see him. I can at the very least take bronze. Or take silver, that's even better. Is it slowing down? I say it's because we don't ever see the drivers. It's like it's slowed down because the game had pity on me. A lot of games seem to do that, and hurrah for a new record. But why? Why do a lot of games like take it easy on you if you're failing? Yeah, well. Yeah, save whatever. Why not? You're still in the game. Play the game. Mom, man. Yeah. Can't stress how weirdly he's saying it. And this is still probably my favorite course in the game. Yep. Also, one thing I'd like to mention, um, I will be moving out to where I'm living. I'm finally going to be independent. Um, hopefully within this month, like late August or something. At the age of 22, I should at least consider being more independent. Do not worry, it's not going to hinder, um, like, it's not going to prevent me from recording as often. And it's not going to hinder the guests I bring for the future videos either. It's just, I will be moving out, um, and have a fairly different life ahead of me.
I'm excited and nervous about it. What can I say? Besides bumping into things, I think my performance is... Actually, it's pretty bad. I wasn't looking at the position. Uh, whatever. Never mind. Let's try to take the shortcut that I kept failing to make it to. And there's no excuse for choosing the max speed vehicle I have. Hurrah. Right. Ten whopping points. Nice. I have to come up here again for the other path. We're way off track. Because again, the map just showing um, like where the main road is. And there's the start. After that, I am still Okay, no more messing around. I'm getting serious. Even if the AI won't take it too seriously if I fall behind, I shall. Nitro box. <sighs> I don't think you can actually crash in a helicopter. Like one of those miles that are there, but you can't like really interact with. If they are, then I guess be careful with that ramp. Okay, um, because the AI won't take this obvious shortcut, I'm taking advantage of it. Yes. Now go, go. Aren't I being extra enthusiastic? Oh no. Well. That's. That's what I get for failing at driving. Bah. Whatever. Um. Come on, come on, come on. I will... And I will probably not be picking up the next generation consoles, at least not anytime soon. Xbox One, um... I've heard a lot of negative things about it, and, um... I kind of already have a lot of catching up to do with the 360, um... And the PS4, um, I don't even have a PS3 yet, so, um, yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I'm sounding like a Nintendo fanboy. I'm not, I, those other two systems just don't interest me that much right now. I do think the Wii U is quite a good console. Doesn't have a lot of great exclusives for it right now, but um, it does have potential. And I do not worry that um, Nintendo go bankrupt just because of that. Not how much money they made with the DS's and like how much money they made with the other consoles as well. It's not like they took an Atari or Sega route where they kept making mistakes with the consoles. Or not making mistakes with the consoles, but um, really lease them at the worst times. Or whatever. Third play. Third play. 
there is still hope then. By quite a bit. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, um, that'll be all for this part. So, um, this is Game Bro. See you all in the next video.